so we've talked about the Treaty of Versailles, and you guys kind of learned what was on it, um, and how Germany was blamed for the war and had to pay all these war reparations. So I want you guys to take a minute and think about, so I'm going to ask you a question, think about it, and then we're going to come back and talk about it, okay? So what effects could the Treaty of Versailles have on Germany in the future? So how could this treaty affect Germany in the future? And take a minute to think about it. I'll give you a few seconds. And then I want to hear some answers, some ideas. I like those thinking faces. Whenever someone is ready to share, feel free. It would to leave them barely defense. Like they'll have, they'll have little defense if there's another like war. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So they'll be defenseless. They won't have an army to fight off anyone. Uh, Xander, I see your hand raised. Their economy is shot at this point mm -hmm. because of because of the reparations. Yeah, yeah. And do you guys remember what we talked about with Germany? Um, I think it was Monday. And Germany's economy, what was going on in Germany right before the war ended? Well, they, they were already like, they didn't have, even before that, they didn't, they, they didn't have very many supplies. So even after like they had to, so it was pretty much destroyed. Their economy was destroyed for, like after that and the fact that they were in debt before that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So their economy was already kind of destroyed at the end of the war. And now with all these war reparations, like Xander said, it's going to be even worse. Um, I saw Jada raised her hand and then Shay. So we'll do Jada and then Shay. Well, they don't have anybody to defend themselves or pay for anything. They, they're just dog poor peasants right now compared to everyone else. Right. They, they so literally have Treat nothing. them like peasants. Be like, throw you in the dirt. Throw some shade on you. Just dang yeah, we see that they have no money, and we're like, eh, you still owe $33 billion. Figure it out. Shay, um, you can go ahead. Okay, like everyone else said that they're in debt, and they also kind of ruined, or they did ruin, like, ties with other countries, especially, like, the U.S., because the U.S. was neutral until, like, they started bomb or, like, torpedoing their ships. So um, a lot of other countries aren't going to be as willing to, like, do trades with them or anything, so it's going to be really hard for them to get out of debt as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they've ruined their relationships, and that's not going to help them pay back this debt. Um, guys, what was going on with um, with Germany's government? Do you guys remember? They were going through their own revolution. Like yeah, kind of. Sure. So do you remember the Kaiser, he stepped down? And so it kind of opened the door for a new government. Yeah, I see that. Thumbs up, Jada. Um, so let's recap, okay? So we have few resources and food. The economy is falling. The government's falling. And now this Treaty of Versailles is saying, Germany, you have to pay back all this money, and it's your fault. The, this whole war is your fault. So how do you think Germany is going to feel? Not happy, to say the least. I agree. Not happy at all. So, do you, so think about in the long run. When a country isn't happy, I'd say, yeah, what's a Shay, I see your hand raised again. Or is that still from last time? Sorry. I forgot to put it down. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I forgot to. Sorry. No, you're okay. So, Guys, when a country gets super... Jada, is your hand up again, or or is that still from the first time? Yeah. Okay, what do you have? Go ahead. I was going to ask, couldn't the other countries ask them for money as well, instead yeah. of just for France? I mean, yeah. they Everyone's Why looking at Germany, right? That? Um, I mean, I guess that was kind of just the power they had, like other countries had when they were negotiating. Um, and France really was the big say at this Treaty of Versailles, like France, Britain, U.S. Um, I remember France, a lot of the fighting went on in France. Um, France took a big burden of the war. 
So I think France was, France, they were upset with Germany. Why couldn't Germany just, like, say no and, like, not do it? I mean, I don't, I don't think it really, I don't think they really had a choice. Because if they said no, I mean, what, what stops the other countries from going in there, occupying Germany, attacking them, you know? But that's a good thought. So, guys, if Germany, like you said, Germany is going to be upset, and the German citizens are going to be upset. So, what do you think this is going to lead, what do you think Germany is going to do in the future? Strike. Yeah, Germany could strike. That's a good thought. What else? So, remember, Germany doesn't really have a good government right now. They, they have to figure out a way to build up their economy. They're going to be, they're going to be pissed. Basically, they're getting a fresh start. So you could look at it like that. Yeah, they're getting a fresh start. So but I think oh, go ahead, Zach. Sorry. No, go I ahead. Say, yeah, but I think that means like if they do build up and then get all that power again, then they're gonna be like really angry at everyone and then yes. be able to, like attack everyone. Else. That's the reason why they're watching their African colonies. Yes, guys, that is great. So Germany's gonna be so mad. And when they start to gain their power again, they're gonna be so mad at everyone and they're gonna wanna go after everyone, aren't they? So think about it. This Treaty of Versailles is going to cause Germany to be mad. And if Germany manages to somehow gain power again, what do you think could happen? Is there Another war? Yeah. Is there any event in history that's kind of standing out? World War II. Yes. So, guys, do you kind of see how everything's starting to connect here? So, World War I happens. We blame Germany. And Germany has all this going on. And we're like, this is your fault. You have to pay all this money. We know you're falling apart, but we don't care. And so then Germany is so down, and the people are going to be so upset. And when this guy comes walking around, Hitler, have you guys heard of Adolf Hitler? Yeah? So Hitler comes around, and he says, listen, this Treaty of Versailles is bullcrap. So let's just start building up our military, and we're going to gain our power back. What are the people going to say? Be like, yeah. Yeah, they're going to be like, yeah, this guy. We're going with what this guy says, right? And so when they see, you know, this guy's like, you know, let's rebuild the military. Our economy is going to be thriving. And then, okay, there's this side note. You know, he's putting these Jews in concentration camps. But look at what he's doing for us. We're gaining our power back. And a lot of people didn't know about the uh, concentration camps. But... I mean, they're going to put their faith in this guy who's going to raise Germany up and get back at everyone, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, he died. Yeah, so do you guys see how the Treaty of Versailles literally is, like, can be linked to World War II? And is actually, like, a cause of World War II? You guys see that? Yes. Does it make sense to you guys? Yes, Xander, those are some intense head nods, but I like them. I'm a big fan of the of the two world wars. Me too. I think they're so interesting. I see a was that a smile from Trevor? Trevor's always so serious and we got him smiling over here. All right, guys. So does that all make sense to you? You see how that is all linked together? And this should this Why? is Wait, go ahead, Jada. Never buy. <laughs> it's a stupid question. There's no such thing as a stupid question. I was going to ask why Zach looks like he has a popcorn puff on his head. It's a Christmas hash. (laughs) Um, (laughs) But guys, so this discussion should help you answer your final response for your Treaty of Versailles simulation, okay? So it should make it a lot easier to do your final response. And I hope this kind of got you to start thinking a little bit about World War II. If you guys have us for World War II, we'll do that. I think we do that after break winter break but uh all right does is was that all good with you guys does anyone have any questions before we end this discussion i see kyra not or uh, shaking her head okay then we are all set with this discussion thank you guys for participating you guys did an awesome job